basically my whole philosophy on nutrition essentially in a sentence is consuming the foods that are going to give us the most nutrients without the anti-nutrients and without the toxicity and so we can absorb them in the the most bioavailable form like we i want to absorb most of what i'm eating so when if i if i have that as the pillar of my nutrition like i want to absorb most of what i'm eating there's only a few foods and most of them are from the animal kingdom because the animal kingdom foods don't have anti-nutrients I used to be an absolute gummy bear addict like i used to go to we have the equivalent of costco and in 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 england it's called macro and i'd buy a big box of these sweets and just eat them like one pack after the other you know mm-hmm. yeah and I, I was addicted to sugar like most people are right and yeah of just course. switching to increasing my protein increasing my fat has really changed my gut bacteria and now i don't crave the the carbohydrates i still eat some from now now and then from time to time because yeah. you know it has yeah. to be sustainable it's not a diet right like mm. this is another thing about the diet mm. where people fail with diets is that they try to do the diet i mean there's one person one of one of my friends he had bone cancer so he's strict like he i mean if you have bone cancer right that's like the worst cancer you can get that's and awesome. he survived it so he's super strict he doesn't eat any sugar like nothing uh, but he's the only person i know that does that right everyone else who's who's healthy and fit like even even, even my friends who do similar to what i do you know they're sometimes you know twice a week eating carbs or ice cream but it's not every day right and it's probably right. 90% right. you know eating nutrient dense food which i talk about a lot um nutrient dense food we want to eat a little bit of food but have it be nutrient dense like for example meat gives you a lot of micronutrients so everyone's taking all these supplements like b vitamins they're taking zinc they're taking uh, coenzyme q10 they're taking uh, all these different supplements but you can get all of these nutrients from meat and you know they're taking uh, selenium selenium you can get from meat and selenium actually detoxes mercury so if you're worried about mercury poisoning first of all eat less seafood that's like the big seafood like yeah. i don't eat much tuna i don't eat much uh, mackerel a lot of autoimmune issues are uh, are from excessive consumption of uh, vegetables and there's an interview i did with Sally Norton she was she was 8 years vegetarian for 8 years and she didn't know what was going on until she started realizing and researching about oxalates and basically uh, all the people that like green smoothies and there's lots of people that have come forth with these stories that they've had kidney stones because they were eating lots of almonds lots of peanuts lots of uh, what's it called spinach lots of beetroot for years and now they got kidney stones 